Hello friends, I am here again with another video of retrosynthetic analysis. In this example we have two alkenes, one outside the ring, one inside the ring. Let's start the retrosynthetic analysis of this molecule. This is our target molecule and we select this one first. Select it, you write TM here. TM or analysis of TM or just analysis whatever works for you and you disconnect it from this bond using a Wittig reaction approach because you remember if you remember we can prepare alkenes from Wittig reaction so Wittig reaction is a uh, Wittig you just write Wittig that's it so Wittig reaction is a reaction where we use triphenylphosphine as a Wittig reagent with carbonyl compound. So when you disconnect this compound from this bond, that is CC disconnection, to be clear with you. So that is CC disconnection. We disconnected it from this bond, cut it, cut it. So one part becomes aldehyde, that is CHO and another part will become this part will become the Wittig reagent okay I will remove this tick, tick, tick. so this will become Wittig reagent that is PPH3 P P H3 that is Wittig reagent Oh sorry, I didn't put here at the right one. Okay. So this is Wittig reagent. You can prepare Wittig reagent from alkyl lights. You can further do the retrosynthetic analysis of this and convert into convert this into alkyl halide. Because this is this this comes from alkyl halide, you know. And you remove this and you put bromine there and yes and furthermore if you want to do disconnection of this compound you can also do so that the way of disconnection for this compound would be easy because this is a cyclic alkene so what you can do is you can use retro deals alder reaction for disconnections if you don't understand the mechanism of retro deals alder feel free to put in your comments so I will explain it in another video but deals alder reaction requires two reagents one is diene that is this one and plus in diene dinophile whatever you call it so this is the aldehyde thing that's it so this is the retrosynthetic analysis for this compound the so first one is a Wittig then converting Wittig into alkyl halide and you can convert this ring into these simple molecules you can start synthesis from the, this part where you will use this alkyl halide as a starting material, as a easily available material. That's the one condition of the retrosynthetic analysis. You start from such a compound which is cheap, easily available, environment friendly. If if you really think, but that's okay if you think only cheap, easily available starting material. That's okay and when you react alkyl halide alkyl bromide in this case with triphenylphosphine it will give you a elite that is called Wittig elite or gelid whatever so you react this with a base to generate a negative charge on this carbon and if you don't understand the reaction mechanism of Wittig reagent then feel free to ask and I will I'm more than happy to tell you how to do the 
integration so real the direction is simple what you have to do is to combine these two fragments in a forward direction you will get the product and in the last step of Wittig reaction or in the synthesis of this molecule you react with the elite with the aldehyde this one and you will get the target molecule this one this is how you convert aldehydes or ketones into alkenes using the Wittig reaction so this is your final product you can remove this sorry there is no space so I'm putting the final product there so this is your target molecule okay quick recap we were given in this question this compound to do retrosynthetic analysis we have two double bonds that is two alkenes we disconnected outside of the ring alkene first as we know these alkenes can be prepared from Wittig reaction we disconnected into two fragments one is aldehyde another is triphenylphosphine elid and we converted elid into alkyl bromide and then we converted this cyclic alkene using retrodilation into simplest fragments and then we started synthesis by combining these two fragments to make this compound and then converting alkyl bromide into Wittig elid and then reacting this with this to react to reach the final product that is target molecule thanks for watching this video please subscribe our channel for more videos thank you